as men, you guys are very visual creatures. Facts. You guys are not in, like, you guys will look at a woman first and, and then determine if you want to pursue that or not. For us, yeah, it can be superficial, but when we start to speak to you, it's like, okay, what do you do for a living? You know, to kind of gaze yeah. what kind of quality of life we can possibly have. The fact of the matter is that women want successful guys. And successful men are not necessarily virtuous men. They're not necessarily good men. They're not necessarily the best men or nice guys. The fact of the matter is that successful men are men that other people want things from. Successful men are successful to the extent that lots of people want things from them. The more people want things from you, the more successful you are as a man. If nobody wants anything from you, no one will give you the fucking time of day if you're a guy. That's just how it is. Now, this is the flip side of the male. This is the male experience to the equivalent to the, let's say, the sexual objectification that women complain about and experience. Oh, we, men just want to fuck me. It's like, yeah, kind of. And if they didn't, they wouldn't be talking to you. The flips, the equivalent of that is, well, these women just want things from me. It's like, yeah. But if they didn't, they wouldn't be talking to you, dude. So it's like, pick your poison. We both have our struggles to deal with. But I think where the average at best video, the part that I didn't like mm -hmm. was when he talked about her having a child. And he's told other single moms where it's like, well, why, why do you feel like deserving of having any kind of man or this type of man if you have a kid? And I'm like, what's the difference between a man coming in with kids and a woman? Now, remember I had, before we started recording, I said for men, it's, it can be a lot easier because you guys don't have the child a lot uh, as much as the woman, which is a lot of times it's very unfair, but a lot of times the system can come in and make that happen. But there's so many women that I have met, known, grew up with, were in my family, who met great men with them having kids. So to kind of tell a woman that, oh, like you're less desirable because you are a mother, yeah. I think that's completely wrong. Okay. so. Again, we have to put it in the context of what do these men want? Mm -hmm. Because Kevin Samuels, he's talking about a very specific and specialized group of men, mm -hmm. right? So unfortunately, what they want isn't reflective of all men, but it's what they want. So you have to think about the guy who poured himself into his work, yeah. achieved greatness, mm -hmm. right? Um, um, is meticulous in everything he does, everything he creates. With that being said, that type of man, that alpha, yeah. is gonna go for the best of the best. Mm -hmm. As a society, we have decided having children lowers your, your, your quality. Mm -hmm. as, as biologically, we've decided, or, or our genes decided, that having children takes a toll on your body. Yeah. So with that six-figure, eight-figure sweetie guy that yeah. they want the best of the best, mm -hmm. unfortunately, it's some badass MILFs. They are. But unfortunately, it decreases your value. So when you guys are going out, Saturday night, uh, she got to find a sitter first. And then, what, like a dog sitter? No, she has a son. What? She has a child. All right, well, be careful dating the baby mama. Why? Because she's the baby mama. Dude, she ain't looking for a couple laughs and some butt naked sex. She been a couple laughs and some butt naked sex. Preach. She looking for a husband, father for a son. Why should it decrease the value? I'll tell you why. Yeah, why? Because I, it doesn't decrease you guys' value. And I have a daughter. It so actually I'm, increases I'm a your value, which is because, so unfair. Because here's the thing, right? Biologically, mm -hmm. you know, we, we value each other by our ability to procreate. Right. Like some of the things that men like in women, women like in men, all go back to that primitive, is this going to be a good gene partner to create a person who's going to survive and thrive in the mm -hmm. world, right? Yep. I want a man who's tall because I want tall children. Yes. I want a man with a good immune system because I want kids with good immune yeah, systems. Survival of the All fittest. All about survival. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, when a man has procreated mm -hmm. in a way subconsciously, it proves to the rest of the kingdom that he is capable. He is, he is virile. Yeah. Right? You would think it would be the other way around. That's what I here's don't get thing. with humanity. What here's, kind of... Here's the thing. The reason is because, number one, the physics of sex. Okay. 
somebody is being entered, somebody's entering. Yeah. Then you look at nine months gestation. Mm -hmm. For nine months, your body is being ripped to shreds to bring another life into the world. Mm -hmm. And then after that, your body might not go back to what it was. So even the decision to be like, okay, I'm going to have this man's child. Mm -hmm. Some people will call it, it's the greatest gift you can give a man. It's the greatest honor you can give a man is mm -hmm. to decide, I'm going to wreck my body, irreparably wreck my body mm -hmm. to clone you. Because mm -hmm. that's what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. So with that being said, you do that. To other men, other gorillas, other chimpanzees, yeah. you're a less desirable mate now. Because I still have the choice of these other un unpollinated flowers. Okay. okay. You will marry her. Brother. I cannot marry her. You have defiled her innocence, and now you refuse her hand. So unfortunately, that's what it is. It, 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 it decreases a woman's value because, I mean, we're not that far removed from, like, you had to be a virgin to get married. That was not that long ago. It wasn't. You know, so, like, men haven't... that was our grandparents. Men haven't Literally. evolved that much. Yeah. Hey, if you've made it all the way to the end, please click that like and subscribe button. Also, share this with somebody that you think would gain value from it. Also, shout out to our Patreon executive producers and VIP members. Make sure you head over to Patreon and check out some exclusive content. A lot more happens on Patreon that can happen on YouTube. So please uh, consider becoming a member there. Click the thumbnail at the top if you want the full video. Click the thumbnail at the bottom if you want a video that's closely related to this. Again, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching. Check out some more of our content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.